Time to cut up another perfectly good mobility scooter. So let's get this up on the bench and see how everything's going to fit. These are the parts we're going to be using. This is the 72 volt, 3000 watt kit from Amazon. It comes with the far driver controller, this nice little throttle with the voltmeter and key switch. Um, this is an axle I got off Amazon. This is off the kids' quad. It was around 60 quid. It's a tiny bit wider than the current axle on the scooter, so it should give it just a tiny bit more stability. I'm not sure if we're going to run this chain and sprocket set up for the power we're going to be using, but we'll see. See how everything fits. enough talking let's get it up on the bench get it all blown apart and see how everything's going to fit This is just not gonna work. Look, this whole back end is just held on by this one pin. That's not gonna work for how much power we're running. I guess they did that so they can be broken apart easily and put in the back of cars and whatnot, but we're running like six times the power, if not if not 10 times the power. So that's not gonna work for us. So I'm gonna have to completely refabricate this back end. I think it will be easier than trying to modify all this to work. So that's going in the bin. And uh, let's make a new back end of the frame out of this much bigger, much th thicker wall box section. Pick up these quads off Facebook Marketplace. And I'm really hoping some of the parts off these will be useful for the mobility scooter build. So I put a um, story up on my Instagram and everyone voted for the bigger wheels instead of the stock wheels. So bigger wheels it is. So perfect really. These wheels and tires are exactly the same size. off marketplace because these wheels are the perfect size for this build. I've stretched the rear tyres onto a wider six inch rim so it gives it a really cool stance. Unfortunately this inner tube tore but I can get a new one of those tomorrow.
progress now i still got the front motor mount to do i've got to figure out how we're going to tie this battery down got to get some mounts for the speed controller made in here and i've still got to get the brake mounted in down here it's going to be super tight motor mounts done speed controllers mounted brakes mounted battery strapped in seat support for the seat post is done so time to crack on with the front now i need to just widen this out and wherever the quad axles are Get the quad axles on. That's the front on. Unfortunately, you missed that bit. I didn't hit record on my phone. But it's just a bit of box section. Drilled it through, bolted up these little quad axles. I'm going to bend a bit of bar up now to support it up to here, just like that. And I've even added a bit of caster, is it? So I leaned the axles back. Not sure if you can see. But it means when you turn the wheels, it picks up the inside back wheel, which should help with steering a little bit at low speed. tie rods off the scooter they're a little bit shorter now we've stretched it out or widened i'll have to cut and extend these luckily i found the perfect size bit of tube so that'll make that nice and easy but yeah that short one will connect to this wheel and the longer one will connect this wheel to the other Steering's done, not that you can see it because I've put all the fairings back on, but we're definitely going to have to trim this bottom. So that's the next job on the list. How cool is this looking? Also got to figure a way to get this mounted up. I'm trying to hide it under the fairing so you can't see it. And uh, get the throttle on, so this fairing's definitely going to need to be trimmed. most of the wire and loom done. We've got the throttle connected, we've got the reverse switch hooked up, I've got the brake on. You can see where I laid a little mistake while I was cutting it out, but I glued that back on, no big deal. The steering's done, again just needs to be final welded. Everything else is pretty much there. I got the motor wire shortened last night and the hall sensor wire so we don't have a meter of that hanging out the side. How cool is this looking? Key switches in, we got the throttle hooked up. That's all working, we got the brakes bled. Even got the basket on. The last thing to do is I've got to get this back plastic or the back fairing. I've got to figure out some way of mounting it because at the minute it just sort of rests on the wheels. It's the last job and we can take this thing out for a ride. I cannot wait. 
So I was just walking outside to get a drill bit from my van and a bell on me. Gross. But the fairing's nearly done. Got some mounts on the back, it's not going anywhere. So I just need to get the other wheel on. Test ride.
literally in the leg. one of those posh motorbikes. Good wheelie! There's a thread! <laughs> 